Hello everyone. February 6th, first video of uh, February of this month, which is the second month of 2022. And we are here with all the tech news. So uh, the funny thing is I just saw a tech video, I think yesterday or day before yesterday, where it said that there would be 22 to 24 phone launches in the month of February, which is 28 days and 22 to 24 phone launches. So as an Android user, you should be really pissed because um, especially if you have a Xiaomi phone or I don't know, any other company's phone, which releases too many phones and your phones get sidelined or get really, you know, outdated or old because they don't get updates because they have to take care of this hundreds of new phones that they release. So 24 phones in 28 days is just crazy, but that's what I think it's all the shortage, uh, you know, component shortage that was impacting and a lot of phones are delayed and they're just getting released. So let's see. <laughs> and with that, let's get started. Uh, there are already a few releases done. There are a lot which are coming. So Oppo Reno 7 series got launched in India with Diamond City 900 and Diamond City 1200 Max, Reno 7 and Reno 7 Pro. Uh, Oppo Watch Free and um, the green version of Enco M2, the TWS also got launched with that. But uh, to me, they are overpriced. Also Dimensity, MediaTek, not interested. Yeah, I just want to get Snapdragon phones. Not for me. I don't think I would ever end up buying an Oppo or Vivo phone anytime soon, as always. So, Redmi Note 11S uh, is launching with one more 11 series phone. There are actually four which they launched globally, but two are coming in India. I hope they're both Snapdragon powered, SD695 something. So, 11S and one more phone. Redmi Smart TV X43 and Redmi Band Pro. So four products are coming for sure. Yeah, there might be more, but we'll see. They're all coming on 9th of February in India, which is two days later. So yeah, today is six, two days later. Apple spring event, yay, big deal. Everyone's too excited. Leaks and all that is confirmed for March 8th. Uh, they have not officially informed the press, but yeah, they just know that March 8th, Apple's first event of the year, uh, iPhone SE 3, with 5G and a cheaper iPad Air again with 5G are coming because they are already in production so people know they those two things are definitely coming but there might be more things you know one more thing the Apple famous thing could be there so it could be more stuff that we don't know you know that might be coming as well okay what next um OnePlus Y series TVs are launching in India so OnePlus keeps launching a lot of stuff in India from phones to TVs to headphones to everything. So yeah, OnePlus is one of the biggest player in India. It is their biggest market pretty much worldwide and they keep launching a lot of stuff. Tick Watch Pro 3 Ultra GPS. Yes, that name, that huge name. And that is the watch that I was looking forward to is coming on Amazon sometime soon. I just signed up for, I saw a banner where it says notify me, signed up for notify me. And so it is coming hopefully this time, you know, sometime this month as well. Hopefully February is looking, you know, as a big month for a lot of gadget releases. Let's see, I will keep you updated because I've subscribed to the updates, yes. Um, Geo buys 25% stake in a metaverse company. The company's name is called 2, TWO2. That is for 15 million. And yeah, Geo is getting into the metaverse thing as well. Instagram ads take a break uh, feature globally, including India. So you, if you are addicted to Instagram, like I am, guilty as charged a little bit. I spend a lot of time on Instagram. So it will tell you to take a break after a while. I don't know how much. I've not read it in detail what time, but yeah, it will tell you to take a break. You know, don't spend too much time. Don't get addicted to Instagram, which is a good thing. Uh, it, you know, let's say like what Android and iOS added in the OS itself, like, you know, digital detox, like time off thing. That's what Instagram said. Twitter expands downwards, downward button to web and Android app. I haven't seen it yet or I haven't paid much attention to it, but yeah, I'll check out uh, if they say that it is, you know, I hope it is worldwide. I hope it is not restricted to certain countries. So I'll check it out. I haven't seen it myself. Apple Music free trial, uh, which was three months, has been reduced to one month in several countries. Um, check out if you, I, I don't know, I not, I'm not into Apple ecosystem. I just have YouTube Music, Spotify, and 
Apple, no, sorry, and Amazon Music, three of them, enough for me. Poco F3 GT, it is the first phone in India to get MIUI 13 with Android 12, even though it was not in the list of that MIUI uh, 13, you know, uh, list. There were 10 phones, including the one that I have, MI 11 Lite NE 5G, but Poco F3 GT, Poco got the first, you know, it became the first to get MIUI 13 in India, and yeah, okay. Uh, I hope it is not a lot of bugs and it's bug free. Let's see how I do. Talking about Geo, back again, the reviews and news, they are launching Geo Book, which is a ARM based laptop, hopefully a little bit cheaper, and a Geo Phone 5G version soon with Snapdragon 480. They are both leaked. Uh, people have seen some of them, so and some things, so yeah. And that also means probably India is getting 5G this year for sure. Vivo 11 5G, uh, Vivo T1 5G leaks and will launch soon. So yes, we know T1 is coming. There's a new series T and yeah, it will come soon. Windows 11, uh, they posted a blog, which they have for insiders. They said that they will have some experimental features uh, for insiders in beta and dev channel and it could be different and it could be uh, finally made available to general public or not made available they might be scrapped but this would have both the channels beta and dev channel because they are separated uh, maintained by separate people and they are separated they both might have some uh, experimental features which might not be even advertised you will just be able to find them if you're lucky and let's see and i we don't know how many of them would actually end up being in the final version of windows 11 twitter will add twitter articles which i'm sure nobody's excited about which is like pretty much stuff with no character limit and I don't know why. I don't know what direction they are headed into, but yeah, they will have Twitter articles soon. This is of course found by Jane, the <laughs> founder of all the things on Twitter and other apps. So Jane founded and you know, a lot of um, websites have covered on articles. Okay, Samsung Galaxy A53, which has been leaking, leaked again in all the details, but it is coming a month before A73. So they're having two different events where they're not launching A53 and A73 together. It's just A53 first and A73 a month later. I don't know why. So Oppo Find X5 also leaks. Uh, again, courtesy Event Blast, F leaks and uh, looks nice. I don't know how it would be expensive. It would be the premium flagship thing. And uh, let's see, we'll know more. Messages bit beta uh, from Google um, got Google Photos integration for sending pics and videos in MMS and also adds iMessage reactions. I saw it already. I have checked it and there's a hamburger menu. So yeah, I have to check the iMessage reactions with one of my friends who's kind of not so much keen to <laughs> do that. So but I'll check it. Firefox reality. Firefox had a um, oh, Mozilla had a Firefox browser, which was VR based is dead. They have stopped maintaining it and you know updating it so that's it okay yeah that's it that's for the today that's all the news that i could cover i'm sure there's more lot more there's too many phones too many gadgets launching uh if you find something that i have missed feel free to let me know in the comments and take care of yourself thank you for being here on a sunday and talk to you soon every saturday and sunday for crypto and tech news and more videos that i will make as i keep promising but yeah take care Talk to you.